One of the things you learn very early on in your rally career is how important tyre pressures are. And I'm in the middle of the stages here at Scouts Rally South Australia and with Scott Petter. Scott, you guys constantly between stages are setting and changing tyre pressures to try and get that optimum performance, aren't you? Yeah, well, there's two reasons. Obviously, you want to try and make sure that there's air in all four tyres, so you're looking for any leaks. But more, more importantly, you're looking for a tyre pressure that provides the, the best grip. You know, you want maximum grip, you know. Uh, try and run them as low as you possibly can for a rally car, different for a road car, um, to try and uh, make the footprint of the tyres as wide as you can, can get. Obviously try not to go too low that you're going to uh, risk getting a puncture. The other thing is that you're actually monitoring the hot temperature as well, not just a cold start temperature. It's about trying to optimise it at its peak performance. Yeah, it's a bit of both, you know, you obviously know when you set them hot where they're going to be cold and, you know, obviously the hot temperature as your hot pressure is more important because that's, that's where you're going to get the grip. And of course, trying to stay out of punches. As Scotty said there before, it's just as critical for your road tyre at home. If you need any tips on what you should be running your tyre pressures at, there should be a plaque or a sticker on the B pillar. And of course, don't forget the spare.